Aquarius, you are going to want to put boundaries on the emotional pandemonium that you feel creeping up. And I feel like that's not going to help you. I feel like you need to allow this to exit. You need to allow this <gasps> to be um, moved. Don't say no to it. Yes, 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 I do look like a gay Trelawney. You're hashtag welcome. Why? Because we give zero fucks today. This full moon is a diddly bopple of a doozle whimsle. And we are saying hello to Sagittarius. Where has Sagittarius been all year? In the South Node. Sagittarius has been screaming from the depths of our subconscious and now they are here with all the fire. All the fire. We thought last month was a diddly bopple. Well, this month is a whimsy boops. Please comment below with the translation for those moments. I would love, I would love, I would love, I would love. Welcome to Full Moon Videos. We have Gemini Sun. We have Sagittarius uh, Moon. And it's right next to the nodes. The nodes have been opposing each other. They're always opposing each other, but the, the North and South Node has been North Node Gemini, South Node Sagittarius for many, 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 many months. And now we're getting the full, full, full moment. However, we got to add a little seasoning to this. It is the eclipse, the lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse is when you have the full moon, you have Earth, and then you have the sun. <laughs> so if I'm the sun, hashtag naturally, then the earth, we are shadowing the light, the illuminaries from the moon. The focus, the illuminaries, the focus. So this is going to be clouded. This is going to be confused. This is going to be deep, 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 deep. Are you there, moon? Are you there? Totally eclipse of the heart. Um, we have also with the sun in Gemini, we have Mercury and Venus saying, um, all we want to do is express our values and express like, like what's going on and just like express love and express femininity. And like, we have lots of questions about like what we're supposed to be doing. Like I have so many questions about what I'm supposed to be doing. Can somebody please just talk to me about what I'm supposed to be doing? And this moon is saying, no. No, now is not the time for questions. Now is the time for you to clock into what you've been percolating, what you've been like simmering on for months now. Months. What is the ruling planet of uh, Sagittarius? That would be Jupiter. Where is Jupiter right now? Jupiter is currently being ruled by Pisces. What else is being ruled by Pisces? Hashtag Neptune. So we have Pisces in both of its ruling planets, meaning Pisces is exalted, meaning right now, this full Sagittarius moon is going to feel very piskin. It's gonna feel very, 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 very spiritual and harmonious and collective subconscious. Yesterday, I was met with so much rage. I opened up to this full moon and I was overcome with rage and anger. Gemini season hit and we said, enough of this Taurus shit, I wanna fly. I wanna soar, I wanna take off, I wanna go, I wanna live, I wanna be. I have so many questions about what I've been listening to. And questions meets more questions, meets more questions, meets more questions, meets impossibility, meets problems, meets, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? So, First, the exploration that I want to do today with the cards is 
where can we tap into the joyful spirituality of this moment? How can we tap into the love and, and the positive insights that Pisces slash Sagittarius want to give us? Okay, we're keeping this one positive. Hashtag positive. And um, the other thing that I want to do, this lunar eclipse, every time there's a lunar eclipse, it, it, it has to deal with relations, relationships. Yes, and, and yes, this could be romantic, but this could also be like, who are you in relationship with? Your career, with your family, with your friends, with a project, with, 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 a, with a dog. <laughs> so I wanted to put a little offering out between now and the new moon for the next two weeks. For $25, you can get a 30 minute tarot reading and the focus will be on, on this relationship moment. Does it need a resurgence? Does it need a closure and goodbye? What does this relationship need that you are in? So if you're like, oh, I know what relationship I'm in. Oh shit, I don't know what to do. Then let's, let's meet 25 bucks. Boom boozle. We'll, we'll get in there. We'll get it answered. We'll kick all change out. Uh, DM me about those. Also for your viewing pleasure is the Gemini workshop available on my website. And then on my Patreon, I have started to film meditation series. So um, uh, those are available for you. There's also more content on OnlyFans, um, more meditative content. I just posted a chakra alignment video from Maui. Um, so go check all that out. Okay. You are not totally done. Oh. Upon looking at the chart, the very first thing that came to my mind was, was Saturn is in Aquarius right now in retrograde, meaning you're going to feel the internal um, authority boundaries. You're going to feel it like, oh, it's time to do a resurgence for myself, right? Use the Gemini questioning, use the Gemini tangibility to help with the Sagittarius expansion, to help with what's what's happening, right? Um, three supporting factors are broken heart, upside down, happy, healthy home, and then the father of pentacles. So this is like, Say yes to reclaiming, realigning with, re-owning, re-authoritizing your broken heart, your home, and the exaltation of your coin. The exaltation of your groundedness. This is the father of Pentecost, the king of money, the king of stability, the king of earth. Hashtag. Saturn. Okay, so Aquarius, it's it's kind of like this. You're you're kind of saying I am here on stuck in the side of um, Sagittarius and the drama of of the emotional fire of it all, right? But if I go to the other side, if I go to meet Gemini, and the freshness of air and I breathe and I say, okay, these are my tangibles. And in this space, I clock into my intuition, the ace of swords, intuition, 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 intuition. I say, I'm using my intuition to help understand from a different perspective, what love and home and exaltation of groundedness is. Then that will put me in a more secure space. I will feel my footing lock in and then I will know where to step. That's your access point to love. Saying yes to intuitive freshness. So, you are not alone. I am here for you. Uh, 
You are love. Bye.